Y'all have been asking for this, so let's get right into it. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Planning Serenity, where we plan for serenity. My name is Jessica, and as mentioned, y'all have been asking and asking and asking for me to show y'all how I get my PNG digital stickers into um, my sticker book, basically. So if you are new here, um, welcome. I appreciate you clicking on my channel and stopping by. If you're returning, I got you. I got you. I got you. Here we go. You already know how I feel about you. I'm finally doing it for you. So if you are new here, I use digital sticker books. Um, they are $2.50 by Kristen over at Luxbook. This is the index page um, of my PNG sticker book. I duplicated this sticker book about five times because I have to separate my digital stickers. I have so many that there's no way they can all fit into one digital sticker book. So I have a functional sticker book. I have a regular main sticker book. I have my PNG sticker book. I have a couple of other sticker books. Now, as you can see, my PNG sticker book, I did not, um, actually maybe these are, I, these may be all the shops that I have PNGs from, but if y'all saw like my sticker, like my main sticker book, basically all 40 of the sections are filled out. My Lux book sticker book, um, about 26 of those are filled out. Um, so yes, but my PNGs is something I recently started getting into. Um, if you're new here, I just recently started doing like scenes and sticker therapy and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, PNGs have been playing a big part in my planning lately. And given that, a lot of y'all have been asking, how the heck do you get your PNGs into your digital sticker book? So y'all know I hate doing, I never do landscape views. So hopefully y'all can see what's going on. And I never do split screen on camera because I feel like you really can't see what's going on. But hopefully, um, y'all get the gist. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know down in the comments. Just a disclaimer, by no means am I a teacher at all. <laughs> I did not create this channel to be a teacher, but I do not mind helping y'all out. And y'all know I always love giving tips and tricks in my videos that I post every day. So hopefully this video catered specifically to how I do my PNG images is extremely helpful for you and what you were looking for. And again, if not, please do not hesitate to comment down below and let me know what needs clarifying or if you need another video or all that good stuff. Okay. So let's get right into it. So for PNG images, um, I have my um, iPad and split screen. So this is my sticker book where all of my PNG images are going to go. Um, let me see if I can show y'all. So these are just a couple of my sticker books. So I have my functional sticker book. As you can see, it has the same cover. This is my main sticker book. So it has an S for the sticker book cover. This is my Lux book sticker book. Um, hers still has an S on it because this is her digital sticker book that she created and it just makes sense for me. <laughs> um, but anyway, for my PNGs, I also have a templates and customs and then I have another sticker book that's in a folder, not in here. Anyways, um, so um, I would go to my documents on oh my GoodNotes, y'all. Like I said, I, I, I didn't even plan how to do this video, but so many people have been asking and like more so recently since I've been doing a lot of PNG images. Um, so I figured I really just wanted to get this video out there for y'all. Um, but again, I don't know how <laughs> I'm going to show y'all. So let's just do it. Ah! Okay. So this is my good notes. Um, good note six is open up on this side. This is my files opened up on this side. And then you can see like the tab for the files. So, um, I recently um, was approached by a digital sticker creator, a digital sticker shop, all that good stuff. And I'm so, so, so grateful. Um, and she sent me, she, she basically, she had me pick out uh, PNG images. And I was like, oh my gosh, perfect timing to show y'all how I do it. So I did pick out three sticker sets. I will have her information um, linked down, not linked down below, but I will have the name of her shop down in the description. I will also put it up on the screen. I am super, 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 super grateful, like beyond grateful. This is the first, is it the first shop? I think she's the first shop that reached out to me and said, I love your planning, blah, 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 blah. I want, and she didn't even ask me to do this video. Um, I told her that I would, and she was like, no, like, I just want you to enjoy your stickers. And I'm like, what in the flip nugget? Like, super sweet. So again, I will have her name up on the screen and her shop, the name of her shop will be down in the description. 
So those are the stickers that I'm going to use as an example because I just got them so excited. Okay. Um, I got three different sets from her. Um, I'm so grateful. I don't really like, all right, all right. I'm all over the place. Okay. I got three different sets from her and I think the one that we're going to work on today is the white Christmas set. Um, I don't want to show y'all all my goodies, but I will show y'all the white Christmas set just in case y'all want to get this set for Christmas. So let's open up my PNG sticker book. I'm going to go to my favorites in here. I always have um, the templates that come with this digital sticker book. Um, you have a black page and a white page, so you can import stickers that go on black pages and you can import stickers that go on white pages. Um, what I'm going to do, and I always keep these favorited just so they're easy access. I'm just going to copy a blank white page. Um, and then this shop is going to be in section five. So we're going to click on section five and then I'm going to put a plus and then paste the page. So we have our blank index so that when I paste the stickers, they, and then I click on the index, it'll take me back to the index. So to get the actual PNG images. So again, this is my, um, files. You can either go to recents or downloads, um, I already unzipped it, but I will do it again for just so y'all can see. So let's go to recents. Maybe that'll make it easier. So these three are the recent zip file sticker books. And I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all know how to get to this point because you should always be saving your, well, not always, but I mean, I was taught, that's the way I learned. You save your files, um, you save your, you save your zip files to your files folder. Does that make sense? Um, you could probably save them to your Google Drive or other places um but i always save my zip files to my files folder um the same as like my good notes stickers like some of these are actually good notes uh zip files either way i always save them to my files folder on my ipad okay so what you're gonna do is basically just unzip it so i'm gonna click it and you see it says white christmas and white christmas too that's because as mentioned i did already unzip it but just to show y'all how to do it i wanted to do it from the beginning so now that we have it unzipped i'll just click the second one literally all of the pngs show up now what you do from here i don't know it's probably taken so long it's like i already had these you really want them again <laughs> so what you do from here um literally it's the easy actually let me let me paste a couple of these so all of these obviously are not going to fit on one page so what i'm going to do is make a, a few duplicates of this so i'm just going to press the plus and then for current template that's what i'm going to duplicate because the current template is this white page so i'm just going to make a how many i, I usually when the when the pngs are like this i usually put two on one page if it was like girls i usually do like four on one page so i would need one two three four five six seven eight pages and i don't know how many i already did and i can easily check so let's just go to the thumbnails all right so section five is for the new shop one two three four five six seven and you can also duplicate oopsies so i was going to show you you can also duplicate this way um y'all see i still have the white tip on it um when dragging and dropping and dual doing all of that I feel like it's easier to use these basic standard white tips instead of the metal tips, just my experience. Um, all right, so let's start dragging and dropping. Um, for some reason, you do have to do them one at a time. Um, if there is someone who is more experienced than me at this, who knows otherwise, please let me know. But I have tried selecting all and it just doesn't work to like drag and drop it. And again, it kind of doesn't make sense because I don't want multiple on one page. So anyway, oopsies you grab it literally the plus sign pops up and you drop it um wow i can actually fit all right so these aren't at oopsies these aren't as large the pen was on oopsies Ooh, okay i thought ignore me all right let me just drag that back over um i don't like i don't like that the pen is like automatically the first thing on um so these aren't as large so i can actually fit more than two on each page so yeah this can be a four pager and this is literally what you do you just drag and drop um and place them wherever you want them on the spread on the spread on the template um and then so we did the first four and then i'll do the next four literally this is all you do um resize them how you want you can blow them up to see how large you'll be able to get them when you do start planning with them. Um, 
but yeah, this is literally how I, and I don't know, I maybe, oh, okay, okay, let me put it this way. <laughs> I will say when I first um, started playing around with PNGs, I was like, what in the flip nugget? How the heck, like, how do I do it? How do I do it? And it wasn't making sense. Like, why can't I just grab them and drop them? Like, how? Um, so it did take, I will say, it did take me a lot of playing around um, to figure out how to do this. Um, but as you can see here, I'll just finish all of them. I'll finish all of them with y'all just so that um, I don't forget. Because if I try to, if I try to stop, I won't remember where I was. Okay. So as mentioned, literally just drag and drop. So this side, again, this is my Good Note 6. This is my PNG sticker book. Um, you can get the sticker books from Kristen over at Lux Book over on her Etsy um her Etsy page. I will have that down below in the description as well, just in case you are interested in the digital sticker book. Um, that is on her page. All right, so we have four more. I'm so hungry. My stomach is like growling. Y'all probably have heard it at least once or twice. <laughs> um, I wrote on it, so I was just undoing. Again, I can't stand that the pen automatically pops out. If y'all know of a way to turn that off, please let me know. Um, because I have to use undo a lot. That's so funny. I was, I have to use undo. <laughs> like this is paper planning. Okay. Y'all, literally that's it. Literally that's it. So we have all 16 of them. And then just to double check, 16? Is that 16? Four? <laughs> yeah, that is 16. <laughs> At first the math wasn't math in. But as you can see, we have all 16. So why did I add? Oh, because I was going to do two on one page. But since I'm no longer doing that, um, instead of deleting them, actually, I'll just select them and move them to section six for the next person that wants to send me some stickers. <laughs> um, but again, I am super grateful for being sent, um, sent these stickers to show you all. And again, she did not ask me to do this by any means necessary, but I was like, of course, like, I have to, I have to. So again, this is literally just good notes, um, I use digital sticker books. I don't just import them. I know some people, I, I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how y'all do it, but I mean, like I see how y'all do it other ways, but I can't do it, like not over here. So I do use digital sticker books. That makes it tremendously, tremendously more easy. Is that, does he, that even make sense? Anyway, it makes it easier um, when dealing with PNGs or whatever, whatever. Um, so yeah, that is the White Christmas set. And when we are done, I'll do the other two sets that I got. Literally, like I said, I'll just unzip them. So we unzipped that one and then I'll unzip that one. And I'm not going to show you what they look like, but um, when I double click those folders, those images will pop up and then I'll just open my PNGs and then I would go here. Oh, I did. Duh, Jess, you should have kept those blank pages because I still need to paste these PNGs. But yeah, y'all, that's that's literally it. Literally it. Can you close this with a pen? I don't know. I've never tried. I don't think you can actually. Oh, you got to do it like this. Close. Boom. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's it. So hopefully, hopefully this is helpful. Again, I'm no teacher, but it's as simple as unzipping the file and then individually dragging them to wherever uh what and y'all could use a blank page like if you don't want to get the digital sticker books um literally just use a blank page in um your good notes planner or um you can create like you can create a free notebook in your good notes um documents and all that good stuff so blank page or digital sticker book literally one by one drag and drop so yeah, it is a little bit tedious, but it's also more fun because when you're dragging and dropping, you can see even more clearly, oh my gosh, these stickers that I got are gorgeous. Because obviously, like when you're purchasing them on Etsy, um, they're smaller. You don't see exactly what you're getting, especially if it's like a bundle of like 30 something stickers. You you can barely see like how extravagant and gorgeous they are until you're dragging and dropping. So it can get tedious, but at the same time, um, it's super fun and this whole thing is therapy to me anyway so if you 
are new here and you somehow some way made it to the end of this video please drop a snowman in the comments just so i know that you're new you made it to the end and you like what you're seeing if you do like what you're seeing a like and subscribe would be absolutely awesome if you're returning i hope this was helpful i really 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 hope this was helpful if you had any questions please please comment down below let me know i would be happy to do another video unfortunately landscape mode <laughs> but i will do another video um if need be again let me know down in the comments what y'all need from me and i'm happy to help other than that i will see all y'all in tomorrow's video bye